number 145 in your class right, for solving rational equations we want to solve for x uh, so here uh, we don't have a nice uh, squared or x term here we have an x raised to the cube so it's going to be a little uh, more challenging uh, but that's all right because we can see uh, that we're given a clue here uh, actually if we uh, try to combine these two fractions here uh, so which means that I would multiply uh, this 2 over uh, x plus 3 by the denominator of the other fraction, so x squared plus 9, uh, then over an x squared minus 3x plus 9. <coughs> uh, in the denominator, when uh, we would uh, FOIL these two numbers, uh, we would actually uh, get x cubed plus 27. So if we go ahead and uh, try to FOIL this, so plus 9, uh, we get uh, this x distributed in here, so we have an x cubed minus 3x squared plus 9x, and 3 distributed here, so we have plus 3x squared uh, minus 9x plus 27. Uh, now we can cancel like terms, bop, bop. so we're left with x cubed plus 27 as our denominator. <coughs> so it works out very nicely because we can write this as 3 over um, x cubed plus 27 plus uh, 2 times x squared minus 3x plus 9 uh, over x cubed plus 27 uh, equals 5 over, uh, now here we would multiply by this uh, x plus 3 over x plus 3. Uh, so that's going to be 5 times x plus 3 over uh, x cubed plus 27. And uh, now combining the numerators here, uh, we get uh, 3 plus, uh, expanding this 2, uh, 2x squared minus 6x plus 18 over x cubed plus 27 is equal to actually distributing this 5 in. So we have 5x plus 15 over x cubed plus uh, 27. Now if we multiply by x cubed plus 27 on both sides, uh, we'll cancel the denominators. So we're left with just the numerators. <coughs> so we have 3 plus 2x squared, or let me combine the constant terms. So uh, we have 2x squared minus 6x, uh, and then 3 plus 18 is a 21. Uh, equals 5x plus 15, subtracting 5x and subtracting 15. So subtracting 5x and 15, we're left with 2x squared minus 11x uh, plus 6 is equal to 0. <coughs> and now if we want to factor uh, this, we want two numbers that multiply to the product of a and c, so that's 12, but add to uh, negative 11. So um, it doesn't look like we can factor that easily or uh, just would be easier to do uh, the quadratic formula for this. Uh, so that's negative b, so that's negative, uh, negative 11, uh, which is just 11, then plus or minus square root of negative 11 squared, which is 121, minus 4 times a, which is 2, times c, which is 6, over 2a, so that's 2 times 2, which is uh, 4. So we get 11 uh, plus or minus the square root of uh, 121 minus uh, 4 times 2 is 8 times 48. So 121 uh, minus 48 uh, is just 30, uh, 73, so 73. So yes, it uh, doesn't work out uh, nicely as a uh, whole number, but it is uh, rational. So that is our value for x.